So, yeah. So, this is where I got the inspiration for the quirk, the fall games, the paint train feature that they have. Yeah, that. So, yeah. So, Deku just. And after that, as always says to Deku that. Don't stop fighting, cause if Deku can kill Bakugo, if he's not careful, I say ba Deku actually knows, and this moment actually knocks some sense into Bakugo, so that Bakugo is not the strongest, but this also like feels the point that Deku is a villain in his eyes. So yeah, Bakugo just constantly tries. To then he just constantly keeps calling Deku a villain that he his he's not worth he should not even try becoming hero a hero. And but Deku just ignores him. And then the heroes vs villains test happens, same teams. Or Oraka and Deku versus Bakugo and And yeah. So Bakugo still still try, tries to attack Deku head on, trying to make Deku not have enough move to actually charge. But let's say Deku, he actually gets almost attacked, but Deku actually punches Bakugo in the face. And just keep in mind that 5% of one for all Deku is able to, to go head to head with Bakugo and their... And like where the hero, hero license arc. So 2% is pro probably going to be able to like knock Bakugo around a little bit. And let's say Deku actually activates one for all. On top of this like without using his quirk and just powers up a little bit. But Deku can use one for all that much. He uses mostly to like... He can use it like 100%, but he'd rather not. He'd rather just use it to increase his time limit. So it just act, goes all the way up to like 6%. And this is just enough to just knock out Bakugo in one punch. And, and Deku's so proficient with it, the lightning doesn't even come out. Yeah. So, yeah. So Deku... So after that, the it's all announced that they're beginning, they're gonna be going to the USJ. I say in this time, Deku actually took time to just, like upgrade his costume. Like he upgraded his costume from like the Juggernaut version to, um, so like the power armor from um, from Fallout. So yeah. And yeah. Also, Deku has trained so he can act activate grade 3 and then he can tap into grade 4 if he needs to. So, say like Deku's actually like. Stupid. Deku has like the mask on all the time because he thinks that if villains attack him, he, he, he doesn't want to reveal his identity. It's like a very dumb move that I very really why does nobody else wear a mask? Why? Hey, yeah, some people wear a mask, but like still clearly see they all masks cover your face. They cover your identity. Alright, so Deku has it on and let's say like when the portal opens, Deku's like oh and he says to Aizawa, Aizawa, this is not part of the test, right? And Aizawa says, yes, it, yes, it is not. Then, then Aizawa says, Deku, you're allowed to use physical force on them. You're allowed to use force. I say Deku actually, like, cracks his neck and says, oh, really? Deku gets in the running position and... See, all the villains like, get out. It's like... All the villains see that there's like this metal man and there's Aizawa just looking there about to attack him and all of them like, oh, they can't take us all on, can they? 
I think Deku like is like the first one to sh just shoot out. He has, he goes really fast, and then then his quirk starts activating. He, let's say that he his power multiplied by like five, so he's like up to like ten percent of one for all. Which he's able to actually he kicks one of the villains full force, gets even more speed, keeps on running. Like he also full. He, he he screams out, special move, metal bullet. He has his he has his shoulder out, like his elbow pointing at people, and then he just charges straight forward with such speed that let's say his he can in, he increase from like twenty percent, like so like forty percent one for all. He knocks out like every villain in his way. And Deku just lands, puts his hands forward, and says, Metal Bullet! He just charges forward and just... Let's say when he uses Metal Bullet, he just surges like one for all through like everything. Just send him flying in one direction. So yeah, that happens. I'll say that uh, Deku uses the Metal Bullet, tries to attack a... Uh, uh, tries to attack the hand villain. I'll get his name later in the part. I hope. So yeah, he tries to attack the hand villain, but yeah. let's say that the gnome actually intercepts. Same what happened with All Might, but he intercepts and. Deck sees that his attacks were not landing anything, and he's like, Oh. This is not good. This is not good. Zeku so just dashes back. He says, Middle bullet! So he just dashes back up. And let's say the normal was just like, Shirak didn't even be able to give a command except to So the normal was just there. The deck was staring at him. Say Deku is taking this time to like fully activate grade grade one limit breaker. It's limit breaker grade one. Limit breaker grade two. He says limit breaker grade one. And his body gets even more powerful. You can feel the power. He says just to be safe. Limit grip limit breaker grade two. And, uh, let's say, like, like, uh, like, like, some sweat, some sweat off Deku's mask just, like, slowly starts dropping to the ground. And, like, the moment it hits, both of them just start. Deku says, Metal Bullet! And just, like, just... Just goes full on, full speed, just directly at the normal. The normal gets hit, and his shock absorption doesn't work. It does work, but it's still 60% and one for all. It just cuts his hole right through him, and then blasts Shigaraki. There it is, Shigaraki. Told you I would have gotten it. So Shigaraki and just Shigaraki gets blown back. Just like. Get launched back super far. So Deku gets to another one of his stances, and then he just says "Metal Bullet," and he's like he dashes on top. And the see the normal like regenerates, and it's like. And for this, I'm gonna say that the normal also had like some kind of like lemon breaker form, which you call when. When the gnome was already like super muscular, the gnome can activate his super molars because of muscular ability. Like the high end gnome. Just like fully cover himself with muscle so he is like even more powerful and even more fast. So he get, he looks at he looks at Deku and says and just screams out. Just like just roars. Deku's taken aback by this a little bit, like, alright. Deku gets into another one of his writing stands and says, This is all or nothing. Deku sees that the only part of the, of 
the monster that's not covered in muscle is the brain. It's like, oh, so that's your weakness. Deku puts his hand, he gets into a charging position. The Nomu's are like already like halfway in front of him. He's like, he's like, Metal Bullet plus Barbarian's Rush. Metal Bullet, he connects with like his feet. So he kicks the Nomu right in, right in the, kicks the Nomu right in the chest. Turns around so he's stuck inside the Nomu. And they're still gaining speed. Deku just, just says, Great. Limit Breaker, Grade 3. Say, actually, no, he says Grade 2. Barbarians Rush! He just punches, no holding back. Just punches the Nomo's head. And Nomo's head just gets obliterated. Shigaraka sees that his his weapon on the shores, so he says for he says for the poor villain to get it. Get out, but Deku just like Deku runs over there. Deku runs. He's about to throw a punch in, but but the poor old villain sends it through, and Deku's about to hit himself. But Deku actually like switches back and hit hits him again. But let's say that's how they escape through the portal, and then Deku sends like a giant shockwave through it. So the building that uh, the villain team was in, like the bar. It's fully destroyed. And that's how much force was actually sort of got released from it. I say for a sec, Deku actually turned into like Lemon Record Grade Three, which actually like when he punched through it, like that's what actually caused like a massive explosion. Yeah, both of them are actually still okay. They're both like still recovering. Like Chugaraki and the uh, portal, portal zone. So yeah, then Deku he they, he they tell him that he gets a a week off school and looks like oh finally. And Deku actually just like spends this week off school just like meditating and trying to get a more handle of like one for all. I say in this Deku actually is like able to access some of his like charge energy. Like his multiplier, just like when he needs it to, but it's like very low amount. When he can't activate like his limit breaker, so when he activates like one for all, he can actually like choose to act, to tap into like his his reserves. Say go twenty percent, twenty percent if you like fully feeling like you gotta go. You gotta get out. So yeah. So the sports festival happens, they all train, everything like that. So yeah, everybody trains and, um, uh-huh, Deku trained as well. Let's say Deku actually tested out his speed, but like, he asked guys all to, if the hero team can, can compare him to the, sh to the fastest train that they ever have. So you get like the fastest model, which like, and Deku activates like his full strength right now. And Deku runs, and let's say Deku's just like a bit fast. It's like he he's catching up to like the train's full speed. And let's say Deku actually when he caught up, he says, "All right, I'm gonna break your grade four. It's not enough, huh? Let me break your grade five. And he just dashes." Right off. And everybody's looking at him. It's like, this guy's serious, right? Like, grade 5, and he's like already like breaking through the sound barrier. Say he broke through the sound barrier, and he's like, Sound barrier? Like, he says, Sonic Boom? Smash! And he's like, he, he gets his hand just like thrusted up into the air. All the force just going right through it. And then there's just giant boom. Being able to be heard by everyone in the city. Some villains just like look up and like wonder who is this? Some here wonder if this is a villain attack and 
I'll say after like a couple of minutes the commotion died down because like so I was like uh we decided to take this out of town but we still decided to make a scene and Nick was like tired after this like yeah so let's say that Nick who still doesn't have doesn't have his mask on so whenever like the villains attack no, whenever like the they're gonna be at US the um, US Sports Festival, first he has to get through that. Deku actually just jumps over it. Deku says, "All right." He uses his two percent on one for all, two percent base strength, and then says, "Multiplier times times uh, three, so he gets six percent." And then like he used. He can use like a multiplier of three to five, like without any problems. So he can go up, up to like ten, ten percent, like any time that he wants. So he he jumps up like with ten percent, and then he lands in the pose. And first Mike is saying, "What is he doing?" That's a that's an intellectual way to get there. But how is he planning to make it, um, make up all that ground that he's lost? And it also says. Just watch. Next is Lima Rick, grade one. Grade two. And then he starts running. Let's see, by the end, when he gets to the end, Deku just jumps, leaving a massive shockwave behind him. Like, he's knocking most of the students who are still in the tunnel over. And Deku just rushes right in, right, right through. He, he flies there. He flies past the zero point robots and lands on the other side. And he keeps on running. He sees the canyon. Deku just runs. And he says, Alright. Let's see, he powered down to grade like. to grade one. And. yeah, and he just went full speed from grade one. So 80% of all my true strength and just like. Just jumped over it. And and Dex says, Oh, minefield, huh? Fine. Just gotta go faster. Uh, he yells out. G four C Lotha Train I say Deku actually just jumps without even touching the ground. It looks like he just like hovers. He's going that fast. And when he goes through the gate, he just does like a barrel barrel roll, just like he flips. Then he just like flips in the air, he just like lands in the pose. Like let's let's say that this happens. Like like Neko's skin is actually like. It's actually like some steam is coming off of it, just like from how hot like the skin is actually getting, so it's like burning the the air around it. Is it Deku like when he jumped, like his barrel roll caused so much friction that he, that he actually started burning the air. So that so like some steam is coming out of his arm. Yeah. And everybody sees this that he got here in in literally a minute. Everybody else goes, and then it's the cavalry battle. So he picks the teams of Dark Shadow, um, Tokoyami, like the hand guy, the dupla hand, dupla, dupla arms guy. I think that's his quirk. And a rock on top, so. So they actually get. So. Then they just move into a corner. They could just picks everyone up and just like carries them to a corner, puts them in the corner, saying, "If anybody gets gets past my wall of defense, then you guys take 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 them on." And let's say Deku just like says serious side to side jumps, and let's say this is actually counted for his quirk as getting speed. So he goes even faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Which includes him getting even more speed. He gets up to like 20 times the multiplier, so like 30%. He puts his hand into the ground and then just, with a, 
with like one motion just like brings it all the way up so it's like so it just like blocks everyone like this giant pillar of rock just blocking everyone from getting him and let's say like some people actually do try like Shoto tries Deku keeps like just like jumping from side to side he sees that Shoto's ice is there Deku jumps and just like says not this time ice boy and just he hits he hits the ice the ice breaks and let's say like the impact like the team realizes like oh no and he moved out of the way but like the impact was actually felt by that because like there's a crater where Deku actually hit it Yeah, so then the tournament arc happens, everything is the same except except the fights including Tor including Deku and Toroki. So Toroki's first match is the same, but Deku's first match isn't. He does get warned of about the tele the the mind control quirk of Shinso. And Shinso just says that it's probably nice with a powerful quirk like that and not being called the villain. Deku says, Deku doesn't say anything, just walks. Walks towards him. She's just trying to ask him a question and tells him to answer him. Come on, answer me. Why are you not answering? And Deku says, Deku doesn't say anything. He looks at him. Punches him right in the stomach. Sending a flying. See, right before, like, uh, Shinzo's about to fall, Deku grabs him by the collar and just punches him again. And just, like, throws him, like, towards the ring in the middle. And let's say Shinzo's trying to attack him. Shinzo attacks him again, but Deku just, like, kicks him. So he just kicks him in the side and just, like, just, like, and Deku and Deku actually knocks and like wins. Deku wins this. Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys for the silence. So Deku actually like throws Shinzo out, and then he says this. A powerful quirk, huh? It is, but being called the villain because of your quirk, I've experienced that as well. And he says, your quirk is powerful, but it's restricted by the user, by you. You are weak. Your only way is to ask a question and answer. If somebody answers, it's under your control. But guess what? If nobody answers, then you're weak. There's no way you can fight back. And yeah, that's where I'm gonna end part three. So, see you guys. Bye.